what's up you guys i know it's been forever but i am back and this is my take on the bride of chucky and let's get started i know i'm not working with much brow now but we still need to glue these brows down so i can draw them on higher I like to go against the brow first and then go up and I like to apply several coats of this until I feel like they are completely covered. After they dry I like to go in with a makeup wipe and just to clean up around them a little bit. Once they are completely dry and you have cleaned them up I am setting them with the RCMA powder. And then I'm going to go in with my foundation today and I am using the new Huda Beauty Fox Filter Foundation. This is a full coverage foundation and I'm going to start off by using the Complexion Perfection Pre Makeup Base. This will be my first time using this foundation and primer and I am absolutely in love with the smell. I think it smells so good and clean. And then I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer to conceal my brows. This is the orangey shade to color correct any darkness that might show through once I apply my foundation. And I'm just going to blend that in with my finger and you can give this several coats just depending on how dark your brows are. Now I'm just going to go in with the Roll Up Age Rewind Concealer to cover them one more time before I apply my foundation. The color I chose in this foundation is Pina Colada and it is a little light for my skin tone but it works perfectly for this look. This is definitely a full coverage foundation and I am loving the way that it's buffing into my skin, especially with this brush. This brush feels so nice. This is the Huda Beauty Buff and Blend Foundation Brush. I feel like this works really well with this foundation. And now I'm just going to give myself a matte look with a translucent powder. And we're going to start with my brows and here I am using the Anastasia Dip Brow in color Soft Brown and I am just lightly drawing them in to get the right shape before I actually fill them in. For this look I feel like this palette works perfectly. This is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. The first shade I'm using is the color Saffron and I'm just going to blend that in with a Morphe blending brush. And I'm just going to start off with a light hand, don't go too heavy at first, and then we're going to give it that blown out effect and then deepen it up. I'm going over everything with the MAC 224 brush to blend everything out. Now I'm going to go in with the purple shade called Amethyst and I'm going to blend this all over my lid. And then we're going to darken up the corners with this dark brown shade. Tiffany has deep eye sockets and this Tiffany don't so I'm going to fake that with the dark shadows in the corners of my eye and just try to replicate a deep socket. I have hooded eyelids so I like to take my time when I do looks like this to make sure that they look even because one of my eyelids are a little lower than the other. So next I'm going to take a thin crease brush and go in my crease and darken that up to give myself the illusion of having deep sockets.
And then I'm going to take a flat brush and lightly go right underneath my lash line to darken that up a bit. And then I'm going to take my finger and apply the colors Royal and Retrograde on the center of my eyelid. And now I'm going to go in with my favorite eyeliner. This is the number 77 Inglot Gel Liner. This liner is everything. It literally lasts all day. And then I'm going to go in on top and give myself a baby wing because that's what Tiffany has. The mascara that I'm going to be using today is by Buxom. This is the Big Tease Mascara. After applying the mascara, I'm going to pop on these gorgeous little wispy lashes by Doll Lash. Tiffany has a dark purple lip, so I'm using these new lipsticks by Beauty Creations Cosmetics. This is from the new Tease Me collection, and it is in color LS19 and LS20. And now I'm going in and giving myself the signature mole with any black pencil liner. So this is where it really starts getting fun. I'm going in now with the Kevin O'Coin Sculpting Powder in the color medium. And I'm going to take this powder and go right beneath my nose and give myself the appearance of having a deep philtrum. And Tiffany also has very defined smile lines, so I'm going to shadow those in for mine to appear very defined as well. And then I'm gonna go in with this warmer shade. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark. She has a real small doll-like face, so I'm just going underneath to contour to give me the appearance of having a shorter like doll face. Tiffany has dimples. I have one that shows more than the other, so I'm going in and deepening them up a little bit. I'm drawing in her Chucky tattoo with the NYX red eyeliner and then outlining it with a black liquid liner. Going in with the 3D Huda Beauty highlight and palette in color Pink Sands and I'm going to highlight all the areas that I didn't contour. Creepy, right? Okay, so now you have to get your Tiffany starter pack, which is the Zippo lighter, a cigarette that she constantly has in her hand, and a butcher knife. I literally had so much fun filming this look, you guys. So comment below and let me know what you'd like to see next. And if you haven't already, please make sure you go hit the like button and subscribe. Bye, you guys. I will see you soon.